G'day everyone, welcome to Torchlight uh, Season SS4. I am Goober and this is the season start. Um, I won't be boring you with too much of this gameplay. Uh, I'll stop if I get lucky at any point during the campaign or if I notice anything massively different uh, about the campaign. Name taken? No, worked. Sweet. Um, and yeah, so see how we go. I'll see you in a sec. I have noticed instantly that it starts you off with uh, Thunder Spirit instead of uh, Frost Spirit, which is interesting. This feels very, very easy compared to uh, normal. And I've noticed that there is a... Um, uh, pro builds, it automatically applies a basic build for you to follow, uh, which is this one here. Looks kind of cool. Well, it has the uh, the set bonuses in here for you to use. Bit silly that it's telling you to use level 50 stuff uh, straight away. Uh, however, it gives you a reasonably okay idea of what sort of stuff to get on your um, gear as well as uh, it sets you up with the skills and stuff. So you don't have to think uh, as you are progressing through the story uh, initially. So pretty happy with it so far. Let's have a look at the treasure trove. Uh, looks like you get the glorious journey, which is fantastic. Uh, has a chance to get Aminescence, so hell yeah, let's do it. Um, should be interesting to have a look, see how hard it is. Uh, pretty simple so far. This build is very, very beginner friendly uh, so far. So pretty happy with the experience. I should be hitting level 10 soon so I can, you know, chat. Whatever. See how everyone else is progressing. Is this just meant to be loot at the end of this? I'm not sure. I think it mentioned that the treasure trove was meant to be designed so you can get a bunch of XP and gear. So, um, because it helps you over level in the area that you're um, going for. Boss mob, piece of pie, desire of survival, didn't get the good one. Uh, can I go again? Okay. So you can just keep doing it. Interesting. I'll do it one more time. Uh, I'm just going to try and rush to the boss. Fantastic XP in here, actually. Look at that. Level 10. I think I was level 7 or 8 or something before. Oh, I was looking at the top of my screen. I wasn't looking at my health. Almost paid the price. See what... Legendary we get this time. Rock Lizard Skull. That didn't take long. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> I want an Eminescence. Um, Fifty-two percent damage. A Lightning Skill. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, pretty decent upgrades there, a couple of them. Hitting for 260 now, fairly decent boost. The XP in here is actually insane. Um, so, going to be quite over-leveled. Um, when I get back to the campaign, it was already a joke, so it's going to be a mega joke after this, which is great. Just means I'll smash through it a little bit faster. That plus one, yeah, look at that so much faster and we've got a chest which is fantastic got a couple of rings there and i'll keep on with the story it's interesting they've changed this as well the, these nodes here were um elemental res now they max life mana regen is still there and that's still the same so a little difference so I entered the Verdant Land at level 17. That is where the second treasure trove is. And uh, the... Um, it says it's for level 20. So I guess you just 
each time you get to a new treasure trove, you just run it a couple of times. It catches you up on the levels rather quickly. Uh, I've got two levels out of the last one. I'm guessing this one's going to leave me at... Um, dead? Nah. <laughs> I shouldn't die. I haven't died yet. Um, it'll leave me probably at level 21 or so. This one's a fair bit longer than the last one. So I don't know if you want to... Just farm the first one a couple of times. Get an um, get the good chest that gives you 120 energy, and just smash through the rest of the story like it's nothing. But the XP is really quite nuts. Uh, elemental destruction. Got my first curse skill. Um, but yeah, good density in here. So. Um, that's why you level up so darn fast, uh, especially if you had the ever eminence. Is it eminence? Chest. You would have a five link going into this, and you would just smash through and get an insane amount of experience points. Got dragon scale boots twice, so movement speed, immune to trauma, and some regen. So it looks like you can increase the drop chance of um, five legendary blueprints. So I guess I'll do all the ones that I want for this build, which uh, there's not many really. Or oh, compensate. Oh, I kind of want to change one of these for compensatory. Compensatory. Let's remove that because that's huge. There we go. Don't forget to do that. Is that every day? I don't know. I'll take it anyway. Lavish box for $47 recommended. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, cat and mouse. Seven day login. The amount of available legendaries is going down. It's just down to onerless and omniscience. What was I calling it? Eminence or something? <laughs> oh, where's the... Ah, oh, it just says own massive energy. Okay. All right, this is round number five. <laughs> I've been in here too long. Five and makes you out level. That's funny. I do want Onalus or Omniscient, that prototype. Just give me one of those two, please. And then I'll leave. I'll leave you alone. 83% XP. The XP is just absolutely crazy. If you can clear really quick, the XP in here is abs absolutely stupid. Another chain. Alright, one more. Boo! I didn't get either of them. <laughs> Did they change something in the story? It looks like I'm looking through an old TV screen. Very interesting. I just got the maps! Uh, took me two hours. Had to go AFK to uh, get a delivery, but... Um, pretty cool. New cards. Bosses drop five additional two-handed melee weapons. No, thank you. God of War drops one additional set piece. Yes, please. I will definitely do that one. And what's the other one? A uh, six additional ranged weapons. Let's go the set piece for sure. Oh, it's the map for the first uh, first chest piece. Let's do this one together. Why not? Should be interesting. I'm not that strong. That's the first time I've had God of War. Oh, actually, it's the God of War that does it, doesn't it? Isn't it? I think. There we go. Nice. And a letter. Nice. So is that just a chance for God of War to drop that stuff? Or is it just... Um... Like in PoE, where it's a guarantee for one to drop. It's 
Infinity Emblem War. Nice. That's the new key for God of War. You need one from God of War, one from God of Hunting, God of Machines, and God of Might. So we'll finish the map, then we'll have a quick look. This is a bit laggy. Um, so yeah, we'll finish the map, have a quick look at it, link it in chat, and uh, see if anyone else has had a piece yet. Born in Fire. Might be useful, might not be useful, who knows, who knows. My gear's pretty horrible, so I've avoided the... Um, oh, that lag is crazy. I haven't done the league mechanic at all yet. So let's have a look at what we got. It is a massive upgrade. Ah, it's the energy. It's the chest. Share that. See what other people think. So it's got a couple of tier ones by my side. That is the two-piece Assetta. Um, so it does nothing by itself. However, if I get a second one, um, minus 8% chance to lose a stack of nourishment. The four sets, the big one for plus one spirit mega skill level. And six pieces is going to be nice. However, the most noticeable will be at, you know, the four piece for the plus one. Ooh. Looks cool. Nice. My first, uh, first roll. I got the, uh, using the free Jagged Primos. I got the Season Pet. Pretty cool. The ultimate counter to a lightning build. Four bosses with shields that can cover every single direction. So if you don't like this old school retro TV vibe, you can go to the graphics and I believe it is the bottom option. Switch off. And there you go. It doesn't hurt your eyes anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm currently doing some group play at the moment with Electric Mummy. He is uh, doing around about 200 million DPS already, which is absolutely insane. Um, so Erica 2 seems really, really strong. Um, and he is just plowing through literally everything. Um, and carrying me pretty hardcore. So, <laughs> um, the... Multiplayer appears to be better than it was in the pre-season test, which you would expect. Uh, however, they didn't sound too convincing in the patch notes. Um, but as you can see, it runs pretty smoothly. The game does lag at the moment after um, a short amount of time. I'm just trying to be as fast as possible so I don't slow them down too much so you just open it up there and then when you go to the portal that's where you choose which map you want to do um, the person that isn't opening the maps they can just go to oops they can just go to the um, portal why can't I enter the boss room hello oh whatever he got it done. <laughs> Chain behind the curtain. Okay. I don't know if um, the progress was shared because they were opening the maps earlier and eventually I could not enter one. So I don't know if it's shared in that way. T 
five. Give some gloves. So it looks like you can definitely carry your mates if you want. You can send um, gear through the mail one time and then it's bound to uh, that character. That's done through the friends list. So they just get a little mail, um, which I have received this one. It's bound. I got that sent that through the mail, uh, which is pretty cool. Like he's gone back to his own maps, which is cool, cool. Oh no, he's joined. Okay. Oh, what was that lag spike? It sounded like my whole computer lag then, not just the game. As you can see, I was struggling to kill that and they just annihilated it instantly. Pretty funny. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, coming up to the end of day one for me, at least. Electric Mummy is absolutely monstering. He's level 93. What a beast. Um, Erica, too, seems rather strong, just quietly. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look at uh, what I'm at. Um, I haven't really got that much gear drop. I got gifted um, this wand, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've had four pieces of the set drop that I'm using and just some other utter garbage items that really should be replaced by pretty much anything. Um, I haven't really had any slates drop that's been amazing. I've had 20 flame elementium. That's a lot lower than I was expecting, uh, honestly. But this build doesn't really kill very quickly. Um, which is a shame. Oh, there's another 9 flame elementium. Let's hand that in. Right, so 30 Flame Elementium. I might quickly see something. There is no cheap isomorphic arms. Pedigree's up. A lot of nice ones. Plus one minion skill. Guess there'll be a lot more up tomorrow morning. Must be relatively easy to drop pedigrees this season. I was running the uh, lightning build from my video. However, it seemed very slow. So I changed to a frost build that was recommended uh, through here. So coffee beans, um, early game. I mean, I tried it and I was doing literally no damage. So I don't know what the go was there uh, and then I got a build from the hero ranking which is this one here which seems interesting I'm very interested to see how this works uh, memory and steel concentration that's probably huge actually one to two fizz damage for every 67 max life of a minion Hmm, what's that worth? Nothing. Couldn't afford a good one, but um, let's have a quick look. Seems to be doing about 5 mil, 3 to 5 mil, which is honestly pretty woeful uh, since other people are doing uh, 200 million already. <laughs> 
um, put on the other one of these. Okay, so that's a lot worse. No, never mind. What was up to? Gear, FE, about 28, not huge. Level 83. I'm doing time mark 5 or 6 at the moment. Um, I'm in FE, I wasn't in DPS, but whatever. Um, yes, I am here. There we go. Um, Mummy just gave me this, so got Battle Trumpet and Minion Damage on a Pedigree now, which is pretty nice. Unsure how much it'll increase my damage, if at all, but um, it's better than nothing that I had. <laughs> so I didn't even select that. Nice. Okay, so that's actually huge. Nice. So that gave me an extra 8 million damage or something. Doubled it. Sweet. I feel like I'm just crapping on right now. So I'll wrap this up here and I will hopefully do better tomorrow. I didn't have really any luck doing the league mechanic. It's a little bit interesting, so hopefully I can do a better video on that in a day or so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.